people of favor. And I'll go so far to even tell you that because we have the living God, the sovereign God, resident, living on the inside of us, is one fact alone that proves that we're favored. Because he took our presence on the inside of us and chose us to be, in a sense, vehicles for his service here today. That means that you're favored. However, I found out in order to please God, we have to please him on his terms. We have to please God and be right with him on his terms. And the only way that we can please God and be right with him on his terms is finding him in his word. Paul puts it very clear in 2 Timothy 3.16. He says that all scripture is, is, in, is written by the inspired inspiration of God. All scripture is written by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and instruction in righteousness. Do you really realize how important that the word of God is? And that each and every one of us today has been chosen to be a vessel for him and to carry his word. That's where he says in Matthew 28, 19, he says it, go into all nations and make disciples and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But I love the word of God and we can never be right with him on his terms unless we seek him and find him in his word. We don't recognize how important that the Word of God is until we begin to dig in and find His purpose and His plan for our lives. I found out and I walked this journey long enough to know that we are earthly vessels with hidden treasures buried deep down on the inside of us. We are earthly vessels with hidden treasures buried way deep down on the inside of us. You know, life is just like a journey in the dark. It's just like a journey in the dark because we're born in the sin. And until we come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ and learn who he is, we'll walk in the dark. We will always walk in the dark until we begin to take in his son and the light goes on and then we begin and only then can we walk in the light. And so if you don't know here today, and I want to get that out of the way up front. Is there anybody here that hadn't connect with Jesus? Is there anybody here sitting here today that we've overlooked that hadn't confessed Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Because if you haven't done so, you're continuing to walk in the dark. And that's not our plan, and that's not our purpose for being out here on this site today. You see, we've been chosen. God has sent us here for a reason, not to glorify ourselves, not to lift up ourselves, but to lift him up. He says, he says in Isaiah 61, 1, he says, I've been chosen to preach good tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to set the captive free, to open the prison doors to those that are bound. And as I look out here today, I see a group of people, and I see that I believe that there's somebody here that had allowed God to unlock the doors, that had allowed God to unlock the prison door in our lives. So is there anybody here that's not given over to Christ? Is there anybody here that had, if you, if God were to crack the eastern skies open right now, and he used to come back right now, is there anybody here that doesn't know where you'd end up? Is there anybody here? Because it could happen in any moment. If you look around God's creation, if you look at all the things that are happening here today, it could happen here this evening. No man knows the day. No man knows the hour. Jesus said that. All scripture is written by, is by the inspiration of God and is profitable. It is profitable. I want you to underscore that in your, it is profitable for doctrine. It is profitable for reproof, for correction and instruction in righteousness. You see, if the devil has me bound, as I continue to walk this walk, I, I don't know God's doctrine if I'm not finding him in his word. If I'm not cracking open his word, I don't know him because I don't know his expectation for him as I as I begin this journey from the womb until the grave. I continue to walk in the dark. Is there anybody here that hadn't confessed Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior? Is there anybody here that don't know him? If you're walking in the dark, we want you to raise your hand right now. Because see, until I crack God's word open and clearly understand 
that his word is profitable. He says in all scripture. So that means the Old Testament and the New Testament is profitable. It means that there's a benefit in it. It means that I can get into it and I can find nuggets for it to nourish my spirit man and to protect my soulish man. You see, my spirit man is where I connect with the throne of God. That's where Jesus makes contact with me in my spirit man. The devil has access to me if my life ain't right, if I'm walking in darkness through my soulish man. He can influence me and he can control me by my soulish man if I'm not walking in the light. If I'm not walking in the light, if I'm not, if I hadn't found Jesus in his word, I don't know his plan. I, I don't know his purpose for my life. Satan has me locked up. If I'm not digging in God's word to uncover the God, the plan that God has for my life, I'm walking in darkness. If you don't have a Bible today, I want you to encourage you to get a Bible. Because it's highly important. Why? Because all scripture is profitable. All scripture is written by the inspiration of God. So it's God's way of illuminating his purpose and his plan for our lives. It's God's word, word of giving light to my path. And if I don't find him in his word, I don't know who he is. And I never uncover those hidden treasures that God has deep down on the inside of me. But they have no use to me because I have found him in his word. You see, the word of God is profitable. It's the inspired word of God. All scripture, all word is breathed out. So it's God's opportunity to look at his creation and says that I have a plan for you and I'm going to write it down and I'm going to give it to you. So in the rough time, in the rough seas of life, you know what? You can go to the plan that I have for your life. You can get illumination in times of darkness and in times of weakness, you can find strength as you make this journey. Life can be very difficult sometimes and the word is clear. John says it in, 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 in John 16, 33. He says that in this world, my sister, you will have trials and you will have tribulation. But he says in the B part of that scripture, he says to be of good cheer because I've overcome the world. But you see, you don't know that if you hadn't found this God in scripture. You don't know that if you don't know that his plan is profitable. You don't know that if you don't know that God's plan, my sister, is profitable. There's a benefit in it. You see, the devil will lock me up. He'll bound me if I don't know the plan that God has for my life. If I don't know, if I'm not digging at him, digging in his word, I don't know the purpose that he has. Life is like a journey in the dark. And until I find him, I don't know it's profitable, and I'll continue to walk in the dark. Yeah, until that yeah. light yeah. is made manifest in my life. It says it's profitable, there's benefits, there's nuggets, there's nourishment for my soulless man, for my spirit man. And when I'm taking in that light, when I know the purpose and the plan, when I'm obedient to his word, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You see, there's going to be some stuff, there's going to be some trials, there's going to be some tribulations, but he says that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So in other words, if I'm walking in the light, the enemy can still throw his traps out there, but it won't prosper. They, they'll be made. They'll be manufactured. But the Bible says that no weapon, I want you to underscore that. In other words, no drugs shall prosper. In other words, no enemy shall prosper. In other words, no sin shall prosper. It'll come against me, but it won't prosper. It can't stand when I know the light, when I know that light, when I uncover him in his word, because I know that all scripture is profitable for me and my soul is man. When I'm walking by that light, when I'm living by that light, I can prosper in this life. And the only thing that Satan can do with me in his attacks is to drive me closer to my God and my king. The only thing he can make he can he can he can he can make me do is get me deep into my prayer closet when I know my God just that much stronger. I'll continue to walk in the dark. If I don't know his word, if I don't seek him and I don't find him, I'm dropping my weapons on the ground. Satan can stray me off my path. He can put traps in my way. 
if I'm not finding this God in his word, if I'm not allowing him to illuminate my purpose and my plan for being placed in the earth, man, I won't know that I was created for his, for, for, to, be, to, to glorify him. I don't know that he created me to give him glory, honor, and the praises. And the blessing just ain't for me, it's for you. And I've often said that life is just like a reservoir. He created dams and he created us to be reservoirs. A dam holds water up. But when the light is uncovered me, uncovered on the inside of me, I'm going to pass the blessing on like a reservoir. You see, a reservoir releases that water and it goes on to the next destination. And it's supplied other people. That living water, that's what I'm talking about. And the enemy can't put blockades in the way to stop the blessing. You see, those hidden treasures that, 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 that's, that's down on the inside of me can't come forward and meet my personal needs in this life. That living treasure, those hidden treasures in this earthly vessel that God has planted here, I can't use them until I submit to him, until I find him in his words. Those gifts and those talents, some of us here today have millionaire talents buried down on the inside of us, but Satan has them covered up because we had not found our Lord and our Savior in Jesus Christ and in his word. We don't know the expectation that he has for our lives. Those hidden treasures are hidden way down on the inside of us and we're allowing Satan to get away with it. Because we hadn't allowed God to illuminate that path. God has potential millionaires and billionaires sitting here today, but we won't accept the plan that God has for our lives. We allow the enemy to bind us up. To the, to, to, we, so we, we allow the enemy to tie us up, to prevent us from the prosperity in Christ and in life that God has for our lives. You see, when I don't accept this plan that God has for my life, the enemy will cause me to walk in lack. He'll cause me to walk in poverty. He'll cause, he'll cause those family breaks to come against me and tear me down, and I won't have the strength to rebound. I won't have the power and the wisdom and the knowledge to fix those breaks in my life that the enemy is throwing in my path. But when this light comes forward, Jesus will empower me to step over the break. There's no valley too low, there's no mountain too high that I can't negotiate with this light uncovered on the inside of me. Because no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me, he shall condemn. And this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And this righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Because I serve him, I inherit this righteousness. Because I serve him, I inherit this power. But when I don't serve him, when I don't receive his righteousness, the weapons will prosper. It will overtake me. But when I'm walking in the light, when I'm walking with this God, when I accept that plan and his purpose for us for my life, God will begin to supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. That's the God we serve. That's the God that we serve. Is there anybody here today that needs prayer for sin? Is there anybody here today that needs prayer for sin? Is there anybody here today needs to know this God that we're talking about to uncover that light so that his plan and his purpose comes forward and prosper you in Christ and in life? You see, when I don't serve this God, then he will allow me and he'll step back to say, you got this one. You got this one. And I continue to walk in the dark. And when I'm walking into the dark, Satan can throw his bait out there. And throw his hooks out there. Just like fishing for a big mouth bass, he threw his hook out there and I ain't got the word to cover me. You see, the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. You see, God will allow the enemy to bind me up with sin when I'm walking in darkness. But because I don't know my path, I don't know my purpose, I don't know his plan for my life. Not my plan, but his plan. I need to let the spirit dwell and well up on the inside of me so that my passion, so that my plans, so that my desires are emanated from this eternal God that I serve. You see, in and of myself, I don't have any strength. In and of myself, I can't empower my plan. But with him, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But without him, drugs will be my book. Without him, 
cigarettes who burn up my lungs would be the hook that takes me down. Without him, lack would be my purpose. Lack would be my purpose, my portion. But with him, he shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. God wants to use you. He wants to use the gifts and he wants to use the talents that he's laid up on the inside of you. He wants to take everything that he's given you for his glory, for his honor, and for his praise. Is there anybody here that needs prayer for, for, for sin? Is anybody here that needs prayer to know this God that we serve? Amen. You know what? God can use you, brother. And we're going to pray with you. God can use you. And that's the first sign of humility. And without humility, you, you, there's no Christ. When you read Galatians 5.22, humility is a big component that he brings to the life of a person. So in other words, you found your point in this journey where you can come to the cross and say, God, I'm all yours. In, a, in this journey, you found yourself to God, I got issues and I need, I need you to help me. I need a sovereign God. God will and can use you, brother. BMD, BMD, Big Money Derek, Big Money Derek, would you all pray for this brother here? This brother wants prayer. Yeah. They're going to pray with you. God can use you. God will use you, brother. Because he's come to a journey. He's come to a point in his walk where he knows that he needs a sovereign God. He knows that the enemy has trapped him. He knows that the enemy has already lost the battle. That the enemy has lost already. You see, it ain't a fair fight because the devil is already defeated. It ain't a fair fight because the devil is already lost. Jesus has already won the battle. Jesus has already won the battle. Favor ain't fair, like my brother said. Faith, faith, we got favor, and favor ain't fair. Because God lives on the inside of us. This plan and this purpose, God wants to walk it out. He wants the glory. He is serious about his glory. And he will allow you to fall to the enemy's plan if we don't seek him, if we don't live and walk in the light. God be good. In Jesus' name. Anybody else? One last time. Anybody else here needs prayer? The sister needs prayer. Okay. My sister wants prayer. God can and will use you. God has talents. God has gifts for you that you want to use to glorify the King. But you got to give yourself over to Him. Give yourself over to him and allow the enemy to have no place in your life by following him in his word. Because your word, the word of God will convict you and it, it, it will chase you, it will, it, will, it will steer you, it will guide you, it will strengthen you. That's the enemy's purpose. But you got to get in. You got to dig in. You got to go all in. You see, Jesus died so that we have power over sin. And you are the only one. Each and every one of us have been bound by the enemy. But you gotta keep you gotta keep this thought stationary in your mind that he's been defeated. But you gotta go all in. It's not an 80-20 God. If you only give him 80%, the devil will use that 20% to trip you up. It becomes a trap for you. You see, Satan is going to hell and he wants to take as many of God's creation with him as he possibly can. You gotta go all in. Just remember that he's already been defeated. Anybody else hear these prayers? Anybody else hear these prayers? We turn that around again. We're living in a day and time where everybody's sick and ain't hey, 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 did you pray for this brother here? But nobody anybody. Is there anybody else here needs prayer for anybody else who needs prayer for strength? Anybody else here needs to connect with the throne of God? Because you see that power. I want you to be under the spout where the glory comes out. And if you're here on these grounds right now, I want you to know that you're under the spout. And God is opening up the windows of heaven right this very moment and pouring his power and pouring his glory out upon these grounds right now. Just know that he'll set you free. Just know that the battle has already been won. Just know that victory is yours. Just walk in it. You can find him in his word. You can find him in your prayer call. 
You see, God has made these grounds fertile ground, and the Holy Spirit is, is breaking up the fertile, fertile ground here today. God wants to do a great work in your life today. Is there anybody else need this blood that we're talking about? Is anybody else here want this favor that we've been talking about today? God has hidden treasures hidden down in these earthly vessels that he wants to uncover and he wants to bring them forth to use to lift up and expand his kingdom on the earth. God desires that you walk in kingdom power. God has a plan and a purpose for your life. Just walk in it. Seek him. Walk in the light. Walk in his power. You're under the spout where the glory comes out in this place here today. You're in the right place, and I want you to know that everybody here today is supposed to be here today. You're not here by, by chance. You're, you're not here by luck. I want you to know that you're here by because of a divine appointment today. You need prayer, brother, for anything? Don't need no prayer? Oh, man, you good, bro. You good. You good. You good. <laughs> is there anybody else here that, that needs prayer? Anybody else here want this glory here today? Oh, he's here. He's just like fire shut up in my bones, and I got to tell somebody about it. Yes, sir. I don't know about you, but I know he's brought me from a mighty long way. And, and I need prayer. I need prayer. Uh, yes, sir. I need it all the time. And I tell you, I, 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 yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a cast. Here. I got a boot on my leg. But Jesus is my crutch. Jesus is my crutch. I'm, I'm a patient in the hospital. I need him. And Jesus is my doctor. Jesus is my doctor. And he's the crutch that I need. And I need to lean on him. Oh, yes. I can't do, I can't do without him. I can't walk this walk without him. I need to always find myself under the spout where the glory comes out. Oh, yeah, you're in the right place. Uh, he's a fixer. Jesus is my fixer. He can do all things well. Yes, sir. He's a fixer. He's a healer. He's a provider. He's the all-sufficient one. Whatever it is that you need, he's got it. Whatever you need him to do, he can do it. He's the all-sufficient one. You're never alone. And you're never alone. I don't care what your circumstances are. Give it over to him. Oh, yes, he's everything you need. He's everything we need. He's my El Shaddai. He's my Jehovah Jireh. He's my Jehovah Shalom. He's my Jehovah Nisi. He's the God of peace. He's my provider. He's my healer. He's a God of righteousness. Just don't let the tears flow. Let the tears flow, Prince. Because, see, he has a promise. And he says that he'll dry up every tear. He'll dry up over tears. But you got to walk in the light. You got to give it all to him. He's not a 90 10 God press. You got to give it all to him, baby boy. You got to give it all to him. You got to walk in the light. He's not a part time savior. He's a 24 hour, 24 7 God. Give it all to him, brother. Just trust him at his word. Walk in the light. Walk in the light. Stay under the spout where the glory comes out. I don't know about you, but I can't do without it. This is, a, this is a clinic that I come to every week. This is a clinic that I come to get my medication here. To get a big dose. To get a big dose of this gospel medicine here today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him glory here today. He's the all-sufficient one. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want you to know, brother, that you are an earthly vessel with hidden treasures buried deep down on the inside of you. I want you to pray to God every day and ask Him to allow those hidden treasures to come up, to well up on the inside of you and use them and let your gifts make room for you. In other words, allow those gifts, man, to bring you before great men and to strengthen your faith. You see, God is a God that responds to faith. He doesn't care about how many tears that you share. He's not moved by our emotions. He's moved by our faith and our confidence and our trust in Him. He's not moved by, how, by, by, by pity part. He's not moved by any of those things. He moved when I search Him and seek Him after Him with my whole heart, my whole life, and my whole soul. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, when I seek Him with my whole heart, then I'll find Him. Not with part of my heart. 
with my whole life, and that's when I connect with him. That's when he throws back the windows of hell and pull me out of the best not, I don't have room enough to receive. And at that time, on, he's not moved by anything else. He's moved by obedience to his word. When I know his obedience, when I know his expectations that he has for me, I'm digging and digging in in his word because that's where he makes the plan to me. That's when he uncovers the plan that he has for my life and in my prayer call. By my obedience to his word. When I'm walking in the light, when I'm seeking after him and searching after him with my whole heart, that's when he allows me to recover from drug addiction. That's when he allows me to recover from lack. That's when he allows me to recover from family break, family disaster, pain, tragedies in my life. At those times, that's when he brings healing. And at those times alone. I had to get used to that. I thought God was moved by my crying and by my misery. And he's not touched by that. Only by my obedience when I give my time, my talent, and my treasure over to him. Nothing else moved, nothing else by my commitment to him. When I give my whole life to him. When I exalt him and not myself. Praise the Lord, Everybody come get your bags on, get your bags on. 